Hello everyone, it's JNAME5 and today I'm going to show you guys how to run TechIt on your Minecraft server. This is actually a really simple process and today I'm going to guide you straight through it. What you want to do is open up your web browser and you should go to this link. It will be in the description so just click that. Now you can download the launcher and everything but what you want to do is scroll down here and then click the 3.4 3.0.4 server click that right there then the dot zip will load once that's done this should appear right here now before you do anything at all what you need to do is drag your the techit.jar straight over onto your desktop. I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a second. Now that we have the techit folder here, what you want to do is just bring up your web browser half page, I would say. Or like that. Move it up over here. Then what you want to do is, if you see this, what you want to do is do rename, then you want to copy this, rename this, and then paste it down. Then press enter. There you go. That will run Tacket for you. Then what you can do next is simply get your Rinmar up and then drag this jar, dot jar straight into here press ok there and then you'll see that right there delete the ticket if it's still there and then you should all only have this in this video I'm just going to show you how to do it with the server host it's basically the same with anything else. What you want to do is get FileZilla or you can do this on your on the upload stuff. It's much easier in here though. So I recommend getting this. What you want to do is make sure your server is down. So press stop. Once it's done stopping you you are now free to do stuff what you want to do is go straight into your plugins then get back to your Renoir page drag everything into there it shouldn't take that long and then everything will run perfect Now it's almost done. It's this little bar down here. It's going pretty fast. How's all that? Well, that's doing that. I got this message and stuff by this place called beastnode.com. Now it taught me how to do all this and everything and what it says here is make sure you have the client version of the mod pack installed in order to join the server otherwise you'll be kicked yeah so make sure you have that and then this should be done right now by now 100 more files and then once that's done then you can basically open, run your minecraft and it will run it's going pretty fast they're pretty short files and there we go it's done now just to check it all you need to do is go back into your multicraft press start and then it should 
update Minecraft. It might take a while because you know, just to get used to it. Now I'm going to open up my tech it and there it is. It's open or not. Still setting it up. Refreshing. Refreshing. Once it's a check, you can just join the server right away. Just wait for that check, and you can see your CPU and memory. Just setting it up right after it's 100%. Then it'll get back up. There you go. The green light. Then what you want to do is open up in your tech. Tech, log in, and there you go. Your tech it, your Minecraft server, and now run tech it. Do a lot of stuff with this, and basically it's a modded, added to a server, mod add to a server and stuff. Bunch of mods actually add to a server. It's pretty fun. You can always get all these mods. You may get an error message whenever you try to click it. There's no way to click that. Yeah, you actually have to get the mod for it. And you, to, you actually have to get the mods and stuff to fix it. But yeah. So, hope you guys liked this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment if you guys have any questions at all, or if you guys want questions and you want a fast answer, fast reply, then you can email me at jname5 at gmail.com. Also, please subscribe for more of these tutorials, such as possibly more tech it over the time, over time. But also, guys, if you do get anything, such as you disconnect a lot, your server goes down. What you need to do is what you need to do is get into your Rinmar again. Or your FileZilla actually. And then click mods. There is a problem with one of these mods and it will be the the nether mod so what we're going to do is go into mods and the nether ores mod there are sometimes problems with that so I would pay attention to that and if you do get a crash sometimes then the nether ore mod can trigger a restart so yeah so thank you guys for watching this video and so thank you and if you guys have any questions like I said email or comment I, rec I reply fast through both and if I don't just comment again or something and I'll get to you pretty fast so thank you guys for watching this and see you next time and bye